Hi guys, today it's a little bit cold and noisy, but you know what I found? My old bag for the Canon 5D. I'm happy I kept it, because now I have a new use for this one. It's for my Canon EOS RP. And now, here I have my Lumix G9, very windy. And here, the lens become to, to come. I bought uh, a lot of small ca Canon lens, uh, the, I don't remember the, the name of this one. This one is a very interesting uh, lens. It's not the Laowa, it's an Optica, a lot uh, cheaper, without the thing for uh, architecture I never used. Then it's not bad at all, but for the moment I didn't find the way to make it work on the A EOS RP. 610 paid to read. Okay, now I will show you something I find interesting. Uh, here it's a regular mount, you see, for the Canon lens. Okay, here it's a regular mount lens without speed booster. At automatic for the uh, Lumix and this one is a speed booster then we have a glass on it for Canon to Lumix then why I speak about all this because I take my Lumix I put this on it okay now if I take my 50 for Canon I can use it on my full frame as a 50 or on this one depending which one I use on this one is uh, 70 and something, but no more 1.8, but it becomes uh, 1.4. Then it's very interesting because I have two lens different on two different body, and the quality is absolutely the same because what is doing the uh, speed booster. It's making it reduce the picture, but everything, all the, everybody knows that sensor size looks the same, quality is the same on a full frame or on a micro four third with a meta boon speed booster. If I need now <coughs> to have a 100 and not a 70. I use this one, who is the same, I already told you, without glass. Then I have 1.8, 100. Then with one lens, I have three different focal. And same things with all the others. I bought this one too, to try it, because it seems all the tests said that they are very uh, good. It's a 40 millimeter pancake, 2.8 on this one. It become uh, almost 60. You see, 60, but 1.8. Uh, Not bad, huh? Uh, it will be better with the battery in the camera.
Okay. Okay. Now I'm done for today. When I will receive all my Canon lens, I bought several to have uh, all the focal lens. I will do a comparison between the Canon, the Lumix with the same Canon lens, and the Sony A7 III with the same focal lens. I still have on my uh, D850 from Nikon, but I don't have a lot of lenses. I kept the 85 uh, 1.8 and the 29 28 1.9 1.8. Then this one I have it for this, uh, this and these two. Then we will compare the three of them, the four of them, and I'm sure. And like usual, we will see no difference at all. Okay. Now, because this review is very uh, short, I will try two different things. I would like, because you see, you hear, probably it's very windy. I will try a microphone for this one, plugged on this Sony camera. And I will try a small camera like this. And like this, we will do a small test. This is the test for the uh, inside uh, microphone we have on this small Sony. One, two, three, four, five. Test. One, two, three, four, five. Test. Now I will shut and change uh, the microphone with this one. See? Okay, now I put the extension cable. I'm on, but no light. I put off. I put on. I have 90 degrees and I have also 120 degrees. I tried both. Now I, now I will stop it again and put again the small micro. Now again no microphone at all, only the inside camera microphone from Sony. And now I will try again to put the external microphone, the very small one, without battery. I plug it now. Okay, I did it and I don't know if you will see a difference or not, or if it's working or not. We will see right away. Thank you for coming to see my review and uh, now I will put everything online to see if the microphone are working or not or if the inside camera microphone from the small Sony is really enough what I was thinking. Thank you, bye.